ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and welcome to City of Gangsters. That's right, uh, this is a management game that is centered around your crime empire. I uh, set in the city of uh, Chicago. Uh, let's jump into a game and we can chat about some of the features. Sure, my, my given name will be Emma Bar Barberi. Nice and nice and Italian, that name. Excellent. Uh, every city is randomized, so we're going to be starting with a randomized Chicago here. And what's nice is that the game actually is, is set up in such a way that it makes the map in front of your eyes. Look at that, the city is being populated as well. Okay, so we start in 1920, I do indeed believe. And you start... Oh, look at this, look at this, you can see. You can see the start of an empire to be. The Bar... the Barbary Empire, that's right. Uh, so, we start on a single, what is referred to as a corner. Technically, there are, I guess, two corners here. Uh, but you get the picture. Anyway, we start in this area, we start in this area here, and we have our playable character here. We've got Emma. Emma is, uh, is us. We are Emma. Uh, what do we got up here? We got one crew, we got ourselves at the moment, we have a vehicle at the moment, and uh, we have no cargo vehicles. We have 150 bucks on hand at this very moment in time, and a whole bunch of opportunities and stuff that we can, stuff that we can explore. Uh, first things first, let's chat about what is going on here. There's actually quite a lot of activity happening in our immediate vicinity, which is very positive, actually. We started in quite a, we started in quite a nice place. It's sort of on the outskirts of town, but, you know, I think this is generally a positive place to start. So, whenever you jump into a game, you will already have a building that is allocated to you. Uh, in this case, it is King's Building Materials, and it is owned by my aunt. You have to kind of consider this game in terms, I guess, of, of dynasty and, and lineage. You, you have family, uh, you have connections with the people in your vicinity, and those people have connections with other people. It'll all make sense as I, uh, as I go, but there's also like a deep, I guess, management aspect uh, to the game as well, which is also kind of really interesting. Anyway, uh, basically, long story short, this is a front. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a front for illegal operations. It's not actually a building material store. Uh, for that reason, uh, for that reason, if we uh, if we go through the back to the small lumber yard, you can see that we already have a production process in place. And this is our production process. It's owned by my aunt, but uh, but we are, you know, we're we're family, of course. It's uh, mafioso as they say. Anyway, what do we produce here? Production only takes time, so there's no input into the process. Every two turns, we get 25 stoneware crocs and uh, 15 boxes of bottle labels. Okay, this is very interesting. This is very interesting for a couple of, uh, for a couple of reasons. We'll chat about that in just a second. Uh, but yeah, this this blue symbol indicates that it is ours. Very cool. Uh, Anita's Fruit Company is not ours. However, we'll, we'll move over there in just a second. Uh, we have industrial storage, which, as you can see, uh, is busy storing a couple of bits and bobs at the moment. We've got 50 bucks uh, in the... Uh, in the storeroom itself. We've got 15 bottle labels. We've got some brick wine. It's an illegal item. I don't know what brick wine is. Presumably you don't milk cinder blocks, but I, I, I don't know. Brick wine, that's that's what it is. We've got four crates of lumber. We've got 25, 25 crocs of moonshine. Very, very interesting. And then, of course, we've got 25 stoneware crocs. And remember that we're already producing the stoneware crocs and the bottles, so hopefully that's going to be... Uh, Hopefully that's going to be an unlimited amount of uh, of that stuff that we can actually uh, that we can actually start producing. Also, it is worth noting that we can set up a brand new operation. We can set up another brand new backroom business, which is very very exciting. It's especially exciting as given that our small lumber yard is already making crocs, there is a potential dare I suggest, a potential to maybe start creating moonshine. What does moonshine create? It takes neutral alcohol, stoneware crocs, and then every four turns will give us 25 crocs of moonshine. Nice. And then it's going to cost us four lumber uh, in order to actually build the facility, and it's going to cost us a thousand bucks. And we have nowhere near that level of money, but uh, but that is fine. Anyway, as you can see, there's a couple of uh, a couple of illegal backroom operations that we can build out, but of course we don't really have the facilities nor the money to do that at this moment in time. So let's not worry about that altogether too much. Okay. Uh, now that we've addressed, now that we've addressed that, why don't we chat about Anita's Fruit Company? So, I believe that whenever you start a playthrough, 
or at least this has been the case for me thus far. Uh, you start with a front, which is uh, King's building materials for us, and then you also start with a, a friendly business. And, uh, and in this case, Anita is the owner of the friendly next door fruit company, which is very, very exciting. And here we can actually interact with Anita, which is very, very cool. Uh, we can also see, if I go into here, there we go, you can see Anita's connections, which is very, very interesting. So, you can see, uh, this is you. So this is, this is me, niece 20 years old. Wait, so that's my aunt. My aunt owns the fruit store. I am the fruit store owner's niece. Okay, gotcha. And then she's also got an acquaintance who lives just down the road as well, who works at a furniture store, which is right over there. Cool. So as I say, everyone has everyone has connections, which is uh, which is very very interesting. Uh, right. Let's let's see. What have you what have you got going on, Anita? Uh, what do you have to sell or want to buy? Uh, okay. So we could buy some stoneware crocs from from our aunt here, but I don't really think that that's altogether too interesting. Uh, so about that favor you owe me. Yeah, so as you interact with different characters around the map, you will accrue favors. And uh, favors can be very, very useful. Uh, so let's talk about that favor that you owe me. Yeah, let's talk about that, shall we, Anita? Uh, I could use a bit of support with a common friend. I know a word from you would improve my standing, or our outfit wants to expand our territory. We already control this corner, but we'd like to expand it uh, beyond here. I want to run a front for us and your fine establishment. I, I think, let's see. Can we maybe, can you maybe hook me up with, uh, with your friend over yonder? This would be kind of cool. I feel like this is not a terrible idea. I would appreciate that gesture. There doesn't really seem to be too much of a reason to investigate that at this moment in time. But, you know, it's an option. We know that it's an option. We can definitely, we can definitely branch out from Anita's fruit company. Anyway, uh, we can move, which is, uh, which is probably worth noting. Hold on. Thank you. Uh, let's, first of all, let's actually load some stuff into our, let's load some stuff into our van. What do we want to take? We'll take some wine. We'll take some wine. Come on, what do we, take it all? Let's, uh, let's move, let's move it all, or at least as much as we possibly can. Let's also see if we can unload as many dollars as we can. A baseball bat? Sure. It's maybe something that we can maybe something that we can do. Anyway, we've got some wine. We'll see if we can try and get rid of some of this wine, perhaps by selling it. I don't really know uh, who is going to want wine, so that's okay. We can head on into the uh, resource overlay here and have a little look. Nobody is after wine. Nobody is after wine at all. In fact, I don't think that anyone is after anything at this moment in time. There is homemade beer and homemade moonshine. Okay, and that's at the pool hall over here? Yes, yeah, so that's the pool hall over here. Interesting, interesting. Can sell homemade beer, moonshine. Well, we, we have moonshine, actually. So why don't I see if I can... Why don't I see if I can invest my efforts and energy into selling that? Load items onto your vehicle. Yeah, let's move all of that back over there, all of that over there. Finish loading. Bada bim, bada boom. Okay, and then let's let's just move out. Let's just move out and see what's see what's going on over here. We have a limited number of movement points. We have a limited number of action points. But to be honest, I think we will be just fine. Let's talk about what you've got for sale. Let's talk about what you've got for sale. Also, who are you? Are you related to somebody? Uh, okay, just an acquaintance of an acquaintance of the lady who works at the furniture store, I believe. Okay, all right, we'll just do that. Yeah, so it's an acquaintance. Of, uh, of, of, uh, of Evelyn. Okay, who is related to the person, or who is also an acquaintance of the person that owns the, the fruit store. I got you, video game. I got you. I understand. I understand. Apparently, also, kind of cool if she's, uh, if she's gonna buy, if she's gonna buy my booze, which is nice. Okay, let's see. I want to sell Moonshine. Hmm, an exclusive trade arrangement? Ooh, let's talk about the cost, shall we? I believe we're set for twenty for twenty dollars per croc. I'm willing to let this go for cheap because I like you, but remember. Ah, so we could offer them a good deal and accrue some favors? I need to ask you for a bit more than usual. Times are tough all around. Ask for a higher price? Yeah, so that absolutely destroys their opinion of me. But that's okay. I have some in the car. I'm gonna try and sell as much as I possibly can. Mm, okay, they want to buy seven. Well, I will offer to sell. Uh, I feel like 
Uh, actually, tell a complete lie. We were absolutely able to regain almost all of their opinion about me, which is very, very nice. Let's see what you can do for me. Do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale? Yeah, get an introduction to someone useful. That would be kind of nice, actually. That would be kind of nice. Also, I could look to expand my territory a little bit. That would be... That would be cool. I don't think she knows anyone that I'm particularly interested in faffing around with. I mean, the furniture store lady and whatnot, that's all very well and good, but we can just hit up Anita's, uh, Anita's food store for now. Uh, or Anita's, uh, fruit store if we need to get somebody, uh, to introduce us to the furniture, the furniture lady. Uh, let's see if we can try and find another place to sell some moonshine, eh? Yeah. Alright, head over here. What is it? A local tobacco shop? I want to sell moonshine. Who are you, by the way? Who are you connected to? You're connected to... You're connected to nobody that I know thus far. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I mean, not necessarily the end of the world. It's always nice to, to find some connections. Here, there, and everywhere. Uh, let's just sell some more moonshine. Let's freaking do it. An exclusive trade arrangement is great, but unfortunately I have no way to supply. I have no way to supply the moonshine at this moment in time. I fully intend on being able to set up automatic production, construction, delivery of moonshine. That's definitely something that you can do. Uh, at the moment, we have, uh, as you can see, we have the opportunity to set up delivery routes. We have the opportunity to get more crew. Uh, onto the team, and we hopefully will be able to do both of those things. Okay, anyway, let's sell some moonshine. Uh, let's talk about the cost. Let's see if we can try and get a little bit more. I might have some in the car at the moment. Excellent. I will give you seven. Offer to sell. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think maybe we should see if we can try and go for a little bit of an explore, because I honestly feel like we should be able to find more places to more places to buy moonshine like come on that's ridiculous let's head over this way all right we are out of moves we've got nothing else we got a baseball bat in the car we got to make sure that we don't run into any uh into any other gangs it's always a terrifying prospect but i'm sure we'll be fine uh click to scope out for one action point yeah we can scope out these places that seems like a reasonable thing to do I kind of I kind of probably want to do that given that I don't really have anything to do with my action points at the moment uh, Grapes we learned about a couple of new resources some businesses may be interested in this resource. It's okay I mean we have no way to produce grapes We have no way to produce anything with the exception of crocs and labels so unless magically somebody is interested in buying crocs or labels then Nope, but what do you know? Nobody is interested in in, uh, in buying stoneware crocs. What about bottle labels? Any- anyone? Anyone? Uh... Bottle labels? No? Nobody's interested in bottle labels? Oh, what a shame. Okay, well, it's- it's fine. I mean, that's why we have- That's why we have all of this junk here in the first place. Sandwich counter. I feel like- I feel like- Oh, you want to sell moonshine. Ah, that's a shame. So what does that show up as in the resource overlay? Wait, buys moonshine? Wait, hold on. Wait, oh, hold up. You buy moonshine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's talk about buying and selling. This is... Wait, what? I did click this. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I want to sell moonshine. I might have some in the car right now. Let me see if I can bump up the cost a little bit more. Sure, let's do it. 24, 24 bucks. I might have some in the car right now. You take that. Oh, you'll buy 14. Oh, you are. Amigo, you are, uh, you are something else. That's incredible. Okay, well, the sandwich counter has accrued, has accrued some, has accrued some of the finest moonshine around. Let's head back home and see what we've got going on. I'm still looking to try and get rid of some of this wine, although I don't think that we found anywhere. I don't think that we found anywhere that actually buys wine yet. Yeah, nobody's interested in buying wine. Corn syrup. Sandwich counter, yeah, fine. Cool. But nobody nobody is interested in anything. 
Nobody's interested in anything that we have, unfortunately. Moonshine, we definitely want to get more of. I'm, I'm very keen to try and find somebody to buy my brick wine. If we can sell off the brick wine, then we're going to be able to build a production process, and that would be pretty darn huge. So, without further ado, I think we got to do a little bit of scoping out. Okay. Insufficient action points. That's okay. That's completely fine. We'll go to the next turn, and we can scope out. Uh, keep going. Oh, it's a copper. It's a copper. What's going on here? What's going on here, amigo? I presume that means that, that I've been blocked in. Yeah, okay. We're just acquaintances. 44 years old, American. All right. Well, we can still do a little bit of scoping out here. I presume that we're not going to be able to get down this road, but... Uh, yeah, we don't we don't really want to we don't really want to go near the near the police yet. What's going on here? Three buildings on this corner that can be scoped out. Oh yes, I just need to zoom in. There's so much scoping to be done. Okay, bear in mind that as time passes, we are continuing. We are continuing to get uh, we're continuing to get more and more production of crocs and bottles. Excuse me. How on earth was that the how on earth was that the quickest most direct route? Doesn't look like there was anything in the street, but okay. Uh, let me bring up the resource overlay. Anyone? Nope. Nobody's interested in buying wine or cider or beer, apart from the people that we already know want the beer and the moonshine. Yep. Cool. All right. So nobody, nobody wants that. Expert truck repair. Maybe somebody now wants to buy Crocs. <laughs> Is that a thing? You sell Crocs. I no. I'm looking to. I'm looking to find somebody to buy. Yeah, we're looking to find somebody to buy. What about bottle labels? Nope. Okay. Well, I tell you what, the economy in this uh, in this in this neighborhood is uh, it's not roaring. Put it that way. It's not it's not roaring. I think we just need to do more and more exploring. Ooh, look at this. I didn't uh, I didn't spot this before. Word on the street says they want to talk to you. Who's this? Dale. Uh, let me. No. Oh. Ah, look at this. Looks like we've uncovered a competitor. Interesting. What's going on? Are we not we're too far? A shame. Okay, I hear you're a well-connected person. I am. I'm listening. I'm listening. Having a hard time find, finding enough grape concentrate? I could use some of that. Why do you ask? Well, we get produce from several farms every week. If you get us empty small barrels, you can have them filled up next trip. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, we need to find some barrels. A little bit of arbitrage, never hurt anyone. We just need a bit of cash in addition to start things up. Uh, okay. Deliver the goods that we promised earlier. Fine. All right, we'll do that in just a second. What's going on here? Albert Simmons. This is a a competing a competing uh, a competing gang. Very interesting. Okay, well, can we can we buy some can we buy some barrels? We need to deliver eight small barrels and also 250 bucks. Well, we can do the 250 bucks. That's that's not a big deal. It's the barrels that are probably going to be the the issue. Although, in saying that, let's just trundle all the way up here. Next turn. Okay, excellent. And then let's just Let's just see what's going on here. Let's talk about buying and selling. I want to buy some barrels. I want to buy small barrels. That's the that's the ticket. Uh, four per small barrel. Let's talk about your price. Let's talk about your price. Say, would you cut a deal for a friend? I got you a deal. Let's shake on three twenty. But don't get used to this. Oh, brilliant. Uh, how many did I actually need? Eight, I think it was, wasn't it? Your car inventory, brilliant. That costs us 25 bucks. Booyah, that's easy. That was absolutely nothing. That cost us That cost us basically nothing. Also, Patch, uh, Pat's lunch counter also wants to chat to me. Got to be careful that we, that we do that. Uh, we need to make sure that we are always speaking to people who are after, who are after a chat. I have the things that you're waiting for. I brought the remaining small barrels. Excellent. I have the rest. Deliver the 250 bucks. I don't know why I'm giving you this cash, but that's okay. Excellent. And if I should need more, receive break, concentrate, eight small barrels. Well, hey, look at that. Someone asked you for help. You obliged. Now it's time to explore the benefits of generosity. Excellent. Good stuff. So let's talk about that favor that you owe me. Um, can you get me in with some local troublemakers? Ooh. Who's the local troublemaker? 
do do Albert Simmons and that gang count as local troublemakers? I wonder. Alternatively, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Ooh. Tell me more about that crew. There are a bunch of loafers that would spend every day at the pool hall if they could. But if they like you, maybe you can get them to help you out. Goodness knows they've got nothing better to do. Your good word would be appreciated. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll see you around. Catch you around, amigo. Okay, so we have grape uh, grape juice, grape concentrate, which is potentially potentially good for us. Let's um, let's head back and just drop that off at the warehouse, shall we? There we go. We'll throw that into we'll throw that into here, and I'll actually take the. Oh, wait, what? Load items into your vehicle. Uh, how on earth? Did, wait, the grape concentrate just teleported back to the. It teleported back to the to the storage unit. Okay, well, I cannot complain about that even slightly. Uh, also, we could just do some more basic arbitrage. Like, it's totally possible for us to just buy goods from somewhere. I mean, what do you want to buy or sell? No, we can't buy or sell anything of interest there. But, I mean, for example, if we see on the resource overlay, apple juice, for example. Like, if somebody was buying apple juice, we could buy at a lower cost and then sell at a higher cost. That's just it's obvious. It's definitely possible. Doesn't look like there's much economic activity happening here, though. Sells grapes? Yeah, it's fine. Is literally, literally nobody wants to buy anything. Steel barrels, stoneware crocs. Yeah, literally nobody wants anything. Literally, people only want alcohol. That's it. Homemade beer, hard cider. Yeah, we still haven't found anywhere that is after wine. Uh, some sort of hoity-toity establishment, perhaps, is after wine. Is that maybe... Is that maybe what we need to try and find? Let's just continue our exploration, shall we? Okay. Uh, yep, keep going. Oh, House of Worship. Excellent. I don't know if that makes a particular difference, but there we are. Alright, did we go to the next turn? We absolutely did. Keep exploring, keep exploring. And let's go to the next turn. And all the way up here, there's nothing there. Okay, we are pretty far. We are pretty far from home, actually. We are pretty far from home, but that's okay. Tea room, lunch, anyone got anything? Anyone got anything that I'm interested in selling? Brick wine, I really would love somewhere to find. Uh, I'd love to find somewhere to, to, to buy brick wine. That would be excellent, but thus far, absolutely nothing. No worries, we shall, we shall keep searching. Go, keep moving. Oh, look at this. Who's this? Leroy Hoffman. What if I drive? What if I drive in here? Am I gonna get beaten up? A suspicious building? Oh, yeah, this is a safe house. Is there something that I can do with this intel? Maybe give it to the police? Make my life on the uh Ooh, that was nasty. Alright. Didn't realize that I was gonna get uh it was going to get destroyed a little bit there, but that's okay. All right, let's accept some missions. I feel like I haven't done a mission in a while. I'm listening. Uh, that you can get your hands on some potent liquids. I have a supply of brick wine that's looking for an outlet. Yes, I actually do. Oh, that that's absolutely categorically what I'm going to do. I have the things that you're waiting for, except I don't actually have the things that you're waiting for. I do apologize. Um, yeah, unfinished business over here. Where else are we going to go? Where else are we going to go? There were a couple of other missions that were available, right? There was one over here. I guess it expired. Word on the street says they want to talk to you. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's swing by. Let's pick up some of our... some of our brick wine. And then we will head back to here as well. Cool. And I have the things that you're waiting for. Deliver. It'll get the job done. We can definitely do business together. Improve relationship with, uh, Gloria Mayer. Excellent. Love to see it. Are you officially gonna... Are you officially gonna buy wine? Yes? I wanna sell... I want to sell brick wine. I might have some in the car right now. Oh, beautiful. This is incredible. Okay, how much will you take? How much will you take? Uh, let's ask for a little bit more. I might have some in the car right now. You're only gonna buy eight crocs. Alright, I... I hate to see it, but, I mean, look. 
let's be brutally honest, this is this is wonderful. Can you get me in with some of the local troublemakers? Who are you connected to? Who are you connected to? You're connected to a couple of people. You're not connected to the uh, to the local the local idiot, the local gang member, Leroy. I mean, that's okay. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's just a little bit uh, a little bit irritating. I don't really care about expanding the territory too much at the moment. Let's see. Let's see if you can get me in with some local troublemakers. Tell me more about that crew. Oh, man, we've discovered somebody else. Uh, okay, well, there we go. That's great. I've used my local favor to, uh, to increase my standing with another as-of-yet undiscovered crew. I suspect that they're probably undiscovered. It could all be the same territory. I, uh, I don't know. Okay, and we've gained an experience point. Oh, very exciting indeed. Okay, smart opportunist. Increase the number of action points per turn. Increase the number of movement points per turn or increase combat effectiveness. Uh, given that I don't really understand how combat works, I suspect it's probably something to do with the fact that I've got a baseball bat in the car and something to do with my total health pool, but that uh, doesn't particularly matter. Let's take movement points. I feel like movement points are the best. Are the best thus far. Oh, look at this. Okay, there's a... Wow, this is very close proximity here. This is very close proximity. Interesting. What if we move in here? What if we move in here? What's going on? You're reliable. You helped out my cousin. Nice. Not enough action points. You know what? I don't like the way you are. Um, I'd like to do business with you, actually. I'd like to do business with you. I, I think that's quite exciting. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was chased down by, uh, by Leroy over here. All right. Don't exactly love to see that. Don't exactly love to see that at all. I mean... How confident am I about swinging in here and just asking to do business together? Look, I'm asking nicely. But only this time next time I won't be so nice. Um, let's, let's, let's not, let's not do that. That seems like a disaster waiting to happen. Let's just drive home, perhaps with our tail between our legs. See if we can maybe pick up some more wine. If anyone is interested in buying wine, I will, I will be very happy. Um, yeah, Leroy, Leroy got a little bit banged up. Leroy got a little bit banged up. I, I had a baseball bat on hand, which is great. Pretty happy with that. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Very irritating. Let's, um, let's, let's load some more, let's load some more wine onto the, onto the car, shall we? Yeah, there we go. Load up to as much as we possibly can. 39, 39... Crocs. Fine. You buy brick wine. Are you still interested? I presume that the demand refreshes every turn, although... I have no idea. Alright, stay here. Let's go to the next turn. Excellent. Let's let that guy... Let that guy uh, head away. Also, there's a mission over here which I definitely should investigate. Uh, no, I don't want to sell cigarettes. I want to sell to you, so we're going to have to go to the next block. That's fine. And let's sell. I want to sell brick wine. 18 per croc. Sure. Sure. Okay, you're only going to buy two. I'm a little bit disappointed that we're not able to shift more. We just need to find more... We just find, need to find more sources. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it looks like we're pretty hemmed in here. Looks like there are, you know, there are options for us, but there's, there's also quite a, oh, Officer Martha Putnam. Interesting. Okay, nobody over here. A family dairy. Can we talk a bit later? Yeah, the cops are nearby. Yeah, that's, that's all good. We'll, we'll, we'll address that later. Okay, so I'm, I'm beginning to get a little bit of a feel for what's going on around my part of the world here. We've definitely done a lot of expanding. Starting to feel, starting to feel pretty good, but I'm also a little bit concerned about how hemmed in I am. Either way, let's start doing a few more missions. Supply of brick wine that's looking for an outlet. Oh, yes! Brilliant! Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, well, I love it when we create more brick wine outlets. That's that's really, really good. Very, very happy with that. Thank you very much. 
What do you want to do, buy or sell? I want to sell brick wine. I might have some in the car right now. However, let's chat about the cost and let's see if I can milk you for a few extra, for a few extra bucks. Oh my goodness, you actually want to buy 21 crocs of brick wine. Yes, please, give me the money. Holy cow, this is brilliant. Okay, well, never say that missions are a waste of time. Holy cow, they are not. That's, that's brilliant. Okay, we have two more missions over here that we could potentially accept. Although I think for now, I think for now I want to head back to the warehouse and I want to start construction of our first production process. Uh, so, first thing to, to dive into, what do we actually want to produce? We have four options. In fact, I think we can literally choose any one of these because we have plenty of money. We could do moonshine. That will require neutral alcohol. Is there a supply of neutral alcohol nearby? There is not a supply of neutral alcohol nearby. There's not. Okay, so moonshine is kind of off the, the menu, I guess, then. Oh, somebody died. Oh, goodness gracious me. An empty vehicle. Uh, grapes. Sells grapes. I think, honestly, grapes is... Grapes is our best bet? Is that really... Is, is it really good? Are we really gonna create grapes? Uh, or whatever it is, cider? Does anyone want cider? Nobody wants cider. Brick wine, at least we know we've got two... We've got two places. Beer. I mean, I would dearly love to make beer, but I mean, if we can't reliably get malt syrup, then... It's kind of a problem. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna look into making grape juice. Sorry, uh, wine? Brick wine. It had to be. It had to be, didn't it? Alright. Skill required. Brick wine production. Can we... Can we build this? Can we build this? I, uh, I don't believe... Oh, tell you what, uh, we need to probably have the cash on our... Uh, have the cash on our person. Load items into the vehicle. There we go. Throw this into the warehouse. I'll keep the baseball bat on me. That seems like a good policy. And... Nope. Not that. There we go. Backroom operation. Let's get... Uh, let's get this. It, so it consumes grape concentrate. It consumes grape concentrate. Let me, let me just absolutely double check that we have access to grape concentrate. I see we don't have access to grape concentrate. We have we have access to grapes. However, we need it to be we need it to be turned into into concentrate. And I have no idea. I have no idea what the production process for that actually is. Hmm. Maybe we should hold off a little bit. Maybe we should hold off a little bit. I also feel like maybe we should look to expand our territory a little bit. I feel like that's not a terrible idea. Let's head down. Let's head down here. I don't think this guy's gonna attack me. I have a supply of brick wine. Yes, excellent. I have the things that you're waiting for. I brought them. Excellent. Let's do business together. Okay, brick wine, it, it, it has to be. There is so much brick wine here. Uh, still don't have a steady source of grape concentrate. Not yet. I haven't been, uh, I haven't had enough. Okay. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. This is very good. So, if we're able to deliver 18 small barrels, then that's going to deliver us the grape concentrate. And we already have 8 barrels of grape concentrate actually at home. So, this is very exciting. I tell you what, this is going to be great. Hoffman and the crew is no longer angry at you. Why was he ever angry at me in the first place? Just because I drove through his patch? I guess that is I guess that is enough to be to become angry at somebody. Anyway, this is, this is the one. This is the one for us. It's gonna take 25 days. It's gonna take a little while, but that's okay. We can just about, we can just about wait. An expansion slot is available. Add a boiler to your operation to keep the vessel sterile. Increases production by 10%. Take advantage of your manager's natural abilities. No, we don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. That's, uh, that's not necessarily, that's not necessarily a problem. Let's, let's not, uh, let's not worry about that for now. Okay, let's head up to here. Let's pick up some barrels. What was it? 18 barrels? I want to buy 18 small barrels. Let's talk about your price. I will... See if I can reduce the price a little bit. And you will sell up to 12. Unfortunately, I am bang out of money. And I can't do diddly about it. That's not necessarily the end of the world. Let's go back here. Let's unload... And let's see, let's see what we can do. Get rid of the brick wine. Give me some dollars. I don't know, like what? 
$210, that sounds just fine to me. Finish loading, head back, uh, head back over the other. Cool. Alright, small barrels. Talk about an exclusive trade arrangement. I feel like I'm probably going to need to get an exclusive trade arrangement at some point in the future. Okay. Also, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to be able to transport these... How I'm going to be able to transport these goods. I feel like I need more space, don't I? Have the things that you're waiting for. Deliver nine. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so I should be empty. Let's drive back here. Let's get... Let's get this done. We're really waiting for the construction... We're really waiting for the construction of the grape processing area to be done. I want to buy small barrels. I'll pick some up right now. Ugh, you, unfortunately, are just a little bit... You just need more. I just need more. I just need more. I just need more. Should I try expanding? Should I try expanding? We got a good relationship. And you've said that you'd be willing to help me out. So can we discuss that? Can you introduce me to some of the local troublemakers? Or... Let's see if you can expand. Uh, it's pretty simple. First, we need to get locals on our side. Gain respect. Uh, so keep your ear to the ground. Got it. Excellent. Um, once people know about us and we control a new corner, our outfield will extend an offer of protection to local businesses. We'll help protect our friends from misfortune. In exchange, they will come here to drop off some envelopes. I'll need you to collect them. Uh, but I'll also throw in 120 bucks to sweeten the deal. Easy. It would be an honor to work for you. Then let's shake. Spend 120 bucks uses up one favor. All right, let's do it. Look at that. We got a brand new corner. We got a brand new corner, which is very exciting. Uh, what does this mean? Great question. Uh, but, I mean, this is this is brilliant. I've got to be honest. This is absolutely brilliant. Martin Buns? Oh, my goodness. How on earth did I... How on earth did I, did I have somebody called Martin Buns end up working for me? That's a disastrous name. But that's fine. Uh, we still need to do a little bit more exploration. We're still waiting for... We're still waiting for, what, nine... No, six additional barrels. We got three of them in our in our vehicle at the moment. If we could find somebody somewhere else to, to get us barrels, that would be that would be excellent. Let's go to a little bit of an explorer. Also, I know that there's something going on here. Charlotte's newsstand. They know of skills that might be of use to you. Interesting. Interesting. I'm listening. Some interesting potent liquids. Yes. Okay. Goodbye for now. So we've got two missions. Two missions now, which is fine. Let's do that, and we will head down the road. Again, I'm really not sure that that was the quickest route, but that's okay. I'm looking to learn new skills. You want to know my home brewing secrets? Well, it's pretty easy. You just need some crocs and a good supply of malt. I'd be happy to show you. Um, yeah, excellent homebrew production. That seems great. See exactly what the skill does. Unlocks module backroom homebrew operation. Is that not one that we already have? What will it take? 40 malt syrup? Um, I don't think that we really need that, to be honest. I don't think that we really need that. I don't think that we really need that. I'll see you around. I'll, I'll catch you around. That's, uh... Yeah, that, that's fine. Let's, let's chat some other time. Let's continue to expand here. Let's continue to expand. What do we got? Boom, boom. And we'll keep going around here next turn as well. Alright. Excellent. Anywhere that makes barrels would be would be brilliant. Action points. Oh, that's a police station. Interesting. They're not cooperating at the moment, but no doubt that will change. If I, you know, threaten their family or whatever. Alright, what's going on? A new operation has come online in the back of a respectable business. Oh, yeah. Nice. And we also gained experience, which is great. Uh, let's increase the number of action points per round, because that seems like the biggest bottleneck at this moment in time. Are we just about... Are we just about ready to head back here? Are we just about ready to head back here and pick up some more some more barrels? I don't think I don't think anywhere else is making barrels, unfortunately. So I think we're gonna have to just rely on here. Um, what do we got going on? How is our front doing? We've had some ideas for how to boost the local respect. Good. I believe you have something for me. Yes, I have zero dollars for you. We collected zero dollars minus zero in costs. 
Good job. I'll be back next month. Collect zero dollars. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> How's our front doing? Uh, let's expand. I have an idea for what to do the next block over. People already know you on our corner, but not yet over there. How about we invite some of those neighbors for a little meet and greet? Uh, your cost will be $8 right away, and then $8 on the first of the each month. Sure, and it's gonna provide a buffet. I, you know what, let's do it. I mean, what the heck? Who doesn't love a buffet? This is, this is excellent. Okay, let's, uh, let's not worry about this. I feel like I haven't really leveraged my connections with people. I've been more focused on the, uh, immediate, on the immediate process of making money. I'm gonna buy some small barrels. Uh, I'll pick some up right now. What do we got? Ah, we need two more. We need two, two, two more. Let's, uh, let's go a couple of turns into the future. I don't know how much they produce on a regular basis, but apparently that's, that's all that we need. We, we, we have exactly what we're after. Let's, let's do it. Wonderful. How's our expansion coming along? Funding a neighborhood luncheon. $8 a month. That's incredible. And it looks like we haven't connected, collected enough. I'm afraid we're in the red by minus eight dollars. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, well, Martin, congratulations. You are you are doing a great job of managing of managing the uh, of managing the businesses. I feel like I should try and shake somebody down. I feel like I should try and shake somebody down. I, unfortunately, I don't think that's an option yet. Right, what am I doing? Upgrade my operation. I do absolutely categorically want to upgrade my operation. We are making we are making wine, which is wonderful, because we have grape concentrate in stock. We have the stoneware also in stock. So that's good. That's very, very good indeed. Uh, I wanna get I wanna get these delivered. These uh, these barrels delivered. Let's go and get this done. Chicago cold storage. I have the things that you're waiting for. Brilliant. Appreciate you facilitating this deal since I haven't secured a reliable source of grape concentrate. Receive. Uh, if you need more grape concentrate, I'll come back. Wait, what? Start mission, concentrate on grapes. Yeah, that's what I want, right? That's what I want. I really would love the ability to buy concentrate. Okay, we do not have the we do not have the barrels yet. So that's I guess like a, a, somewhat of a reoccurring somewhat of a reoccurring mission. We also have unfinished business over here, which we need to address. That's fine. I feel like I haven't really considered the expansion prospects of, well, this game at all. I, I've been, I've been laser focused on, I've been laser focused on making money or trying to make money. All right, there we go. It's not quite what we're after, but there you go. That is, that is what it is. Okay. I'm looking to learn new skills. What do you got? You'd like to know how to make vinegar. Okay, cider making. Do I care? No, nobody is interested. Nobody is interested in buying anything that I've got to sell. Buys br brick wine is at least now more widely, more widely in demand. You're in, you're looking for cider. Homemade beer is, is coming. Moonshine as well is, is getting up there actually. That's, that's not too bad. Got some recent transactions over here. Oh, that's a horrific overview, but you can see the, the police precincts here. Uh, yeah, we could look to buy a new vehicle. That would be... That would be an opportunity, actually. That would be a big old opportunity. I mean, we've been, we've been doing everything solo thus far. But, uh... But that could very well change. Okay. Hey, you fix vehicles? Uh, good to know. My vehicle is running well. Yeah, my vehicle's actually fine. I heard you got a car or two for sale. I'm looking to get rid of this car. Oh, I can just imagine you doing a hit and then uh, and then just like come into a vehicle place and sell in the car. That would be very exciting. Let me know if you have any leads. I've got something on the lot. 520, 520 bucks. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I don't have I don't have the I don't have the cash for that at this moment in time. What do we got over here? Word on the street says they want to talk to you. Let's uh, let's head down yonder. I'm listening. Potent liquids. Yep. I think I actually have them in the car right now. Okay. To be honest, it's probably not worth me giving five crocs of, uh, of liquid away for free. Just doesn't really... 
seem like a worthwhile endeavor anymore. Word on the street says they want to talk to you. What's up? Yeah, I, no, I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth me giving these, uh, giving these people wine. I mean, look, there's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunity here, although I am just absolutely desperate to try and get, I'm just absolutely trying, desperate to try and get, uh, to try and get a, a reliable source of, of barrel production up and running. Okay, what is this? Chicago Coal Co.? Talk about buying and selling. Who's she connected to? Can I leverage... Can I leverage anyone that you are connected to? What if I... What if I head over here? What if I help out the tea room? I mean... I could do that. I could buy... I could buy some stuff. But what about finding... What about finding somebody that you're connected to? No, I don't think that, that I don't think oof, that's that's who I'm connected to. I don't think that anyone is connected to to anyone that I would like to leverage at the Chicago Coal Company. It's not necessarily the end of the world, but that's that's irritating nonetheless. Uh, we need more Crocs. We need more Crocs. That's a shame because we got plenty of uh, of grape concentrate. Okay, here's what I think that we want to do. Let's see if we can try and set up a delivery. Okay, assign a driver. Sure, we can we can make it us. This is this is okay. So, the first stop: buy resources. We want to buy, well, technically small barrels, and we want to buy. Ooh, we can buy them from the station tire and brake service. Okay, I didn't realize that we could actually. I didn't realize that we actually had any other barrel options for us. To be honest. Small barrels? Oh, tell a complete lie. There's there's small barrel options everywhere. Okay, well this is this is excellent. This is this is excellent. I need to expand my territory size in order to increase my crew capacity. This is genuinely something that I need to do. I have no idea why I'm not leveraging. I have no idea why I'm not leveraging uh, people much more than I actually am. We we've got like nothing. We've got like. We've got, like, no space at this moment in time. And to be honest, we could absolutely leverage all of these connections just way more. Got a good relationship. Uh, do we have a good relationship with, like, anyone to the point of... To the point of being able to expand? Tobacco shop. We can... Buy, sell... Nothing, nothing really. Homebrew production, tell me more. Nah, I don't... Mm. Yeah, we just need... We just need to find somebody that is... That is willing to... That is willing to help with our expansion. Anyway, let's... Let's do the delivery route here. Although, to be honest, we probably don't want to do it with our main character. We probably want to hold off until... We have... Uh, we have another crew member. Fine. Alright, let's... Let's see. Let's see if we can try and head out here. Because there are... There are options to buy small barrels, and if we trade with some people... If we trade with some people... I want to buy small barrels, pick some up right now. Give me as many as you can. There we go, excellent. And let's head down the street. Again, not entirely sure on the distance there, but that's okay. A new coroner acknowledges you and your crew are in charge around here. Everyone knows who you are now and mean business. Excellent! Okay, so it expanded just absolutely automatically, which is great. That's wonderful, and that was... I believe done because of the uh, because of the connection that I had there. So that's wonderful. Okay, deliver the the barrels. Uh, who is in this vicinity anyway? Looking to buy? Who is looking to buy brick wine? Yeah, I knew there was somebody nearby. What do you want? I want to sell brick wine. I have some in the car right now. They want to buy 14 crocs. I mean, that's perfect. That's perfect for a variety of reasons. First of all, it gives us money. Second of all, it allows us to head back up here and just buy more and more and more stuff. There we go. I want to buy small barrels. There we go. I'll pick some up right now. I'll take as many as I can, and then I'll literally head back down here next turn. I don't think that I'm going to get into a fight with anyone, which is excellent. Okay, cool. 
have the things that you're waiting for. Okay, one more time. One more time. Let's talk about buying and selling. I want to buy small barrels. Pick some up right now. Six, fine, and then also next door. I want to buy small barrels. Pick some up right now. Brilliant. Okay, so barely cost us. Barely cost us anything. Barely cost us anything. Was uh, was completely fine. Completely, completely, completely fine. We don't have quite enough favor to do this, I don't think. Although, tell a complete lie. I do have enough favor. I just need more money. I just need more money. And I need 250 bucks on my person. So we want to expand out here to the auto body shop. And that's probably what I'm going to do next. Let's do that. I will concentrate on grapes. Cool. Keep going. Keep going. We'll do this basically as much as we possibly can. And we will get the... We will get the... Uh, we'll get the delivery set up as swiftly as we possibly can as well. Yeah. That's that's what we're after. That's what we're after. We're after a, we're after a delivery route. We, we want it to happen uh, basically as soon as we possibly can. Do I have the money on me needed to expand our territory? Because if not, I will go back and I will pick up a little bit of extra cash that is probably just chilling in the store. It is indeed. There we go. We'll take, what, up to 260 bucks. Nice. Let's head out here. Let's speak to you. Let's expand our territory. Excellent. Booyah. Okay, your respect is rising. Another corner on the street has been added to your cruise territory. Excellent. In fact, that's almost to the point where we can think about adding another crew member. Very exciting indeed. Uh, let's head up this way. Uh, do you have a moment for a quick chat? Yes. Holding out on you? Oh no, somebody is holding out on me. That's that's not good. Ooh, definitely. Drop off some tools and a bit of cash for the crew. Uh, we'll just help ourselves. After hours. Interesting. Interesting. Deliver two baseball bats? Deliver $500. Um, sure? Got the things that you're waiting for? I mean, unfortunately, I don't have 500 bucks of cash, but that's kind of okay for now anyway. Can we expand... Can we expand over here? I, I didn't notice. Uh, I didn't notice that that was an option, if we could actually expand our territory in this vicinity. It might be too far away, to be honest. It might be too far away. Yeah, also, we apparently don't have the ability to... Uh, to increase our favor with the cold storage operator, which is a little bit of a pain in the backside, but that's fine. I think we need to focus much more strongly on... Uh, I think we just need to focus much more strongly on expanding. 270 bucks. Man, it costs a lot to expand, though. It costs a lot to expand. Especially given that I want to shake somebody up as well. Like, we're... We're trying to do... We're trying to do a lot of stuff at the same time. But I guess that is... It's one of the costs of doing business, eh? Alright. Uh, not grape concentrate. No, no, no. Brick wine. There we go. 40... 40... Uh, 40 things of brick wine. That's grand. Who wants some brick wine? Who wants some brick wine? Let's go... Let's go sell brick wine over here. And then, I tell you what, maybe, just maybe, we can pump you to expand the, the territory a little bit. That would be kind of exciting as well. Let's talk about cost. I don't really care about exclusive trade. Exclusive trade is is not a not an issue. Might have some in the car right now. You want to buy 27 crocs. Okay, yes, I will absolutely categorically offer to sell. And then, you know, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to ask you to collect for my territory. Brilliant. Let's do it. Let's shake on it. Happy days. Look at that. A new corner acknowledges me as the as the rightful controller. The fat controller on the corner. Wonderful. Love to see it. Over here too, there's there's definitely something. There's definitely some opportunities in this vicinity. I might have some in the car right now. However, I'm gonna pump you for a little bit more. Uh you can buy three. Alright, that's that's okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's it's fine. Let's talk about that favor that you owe me, and let's see if I can expand. How much is it going to cost? 280 bucks to sweeten the deal? Let's shake on it right now. Okay, another freaking corner. Another freaking corner is uh, is getting in on this action. Oh, boy, this is, this is looking incredible. I have spent just about every single penny that I have, although I guess that's fine. They might be interested in business expansion. I'm listening. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we need to... <laughs> we, <laughs> we need to, like, apparently invest a huge amount of time, effort, and energy in all of these expansions. Let's, um, let's head around here. Let's head around here first. There's so many missions. There's so many missions that we could, that we could, uh, that we could take up. How's our front doing? We are doing well, but running short of cash. How on earth are you not managing to, how on earth are you not managing to collect all the cash from, from all of these places? Oh, no, 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 no. The luncheon is killing us. <laughs> Funding a neighborhood luncheon. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. A temporary setback. A temporary setback. Don't even worry about it. Uh, I have what you're waiting for. Nope. I can only deliver two dollars. That's unfortunately absolutely not what I can do. Uh, yeah, I'm looking to... I'm looking to see if I can try and recruit somebody. I'm looking to see if I can try and recruit somebody. Let's talk about buying and selling. Where is the opportunity to... Let's talk about the locals. I need to expand my territory. Yeah, I, I want to do that. I do want to do that. However, I I don't have the cash. I really have no money on me at this moment in time. I am looking to recruit somebody, and I have no idea. Yeah, one of your vehicles is getting a little bit banged up. That does seem to happen. We've taken control of this corner. Things will be better around here now. Uh, we should do more things together. Even a small monthly payment of 20 bucks would help this neighborhood uh, increase immensely. Oh, yes. That's excellent. Let's do that. Okay, so apparently I need to set this up. Martin is... Martin is apparently not... Uh... Apparently is, is not setting it up himself. Okay, well, I guess we'll do this again. You know you can count on me in a time of need. Excellent. Okay, well that's great. I tell you, that is that is fantastic. I'm looking to hire somebody new. Let's see. I have this good for nothing nephew? Tell me more. Yes, please. Welcome to the team, amigo. Quiet. Bad bartenders, great lookouts. Irritable? Tired of a local goon not listening? This may be the person for you. Quiet, irritable, and lazy. Brilliant. Um Sure. Congratulations, welcome on board. Welcome on board. That sounds that sounds fantastic. Now, of course, uh, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you, uh, Charlie or whatever or whatever your name is. Uh, I'm afraid that we we don't really have anything for you to do at this moment in time because I ain't got a vehicle for you, bud. I ain't got a vehicle, which is a bit of a shame. I do apparently have just an absolutely monstrous operation going though. I mean, I feel like. It kind of happened overnight, but I have... I've made wine, I've sold wine, I'm now wealthy on wine, which is just wonderful. Uh, we're still making wine. We get wine every seven turns, which is pretty remarkable. We're getting our crocs as well, which is good. Uh, is there anywhere that we would like to sell brick wine? This area is a wash. I don't I don't care about that area over there. Let's, uh, let's head over this way and let's just... I'm listening. What did you have in mind? Goodness gracious me, why on earth? Why on earth is everyone looking for me to deliver... Deliver goods to, to beat people up? This is... This is not exactly ideal. Get 20% more. I have some in the car right now. 13, sure. Let's, let's sell that. Okay. I mean, look. We need to set up an auto delivery route. I need another car. I need... Basically, I need basically to get a nephew who is uh, or a cousin or whoever it is uh, Who is ready to sort of just ping pong around? Locations just hawking as much of this wine as is uh, as is possible. Uh oh unable to pay salary for Charlie Chambers uh, Oh, yeah, we just need to make sure the cash is actually in the warehouse. Okay. I'm, I'm with you video game So it needs to be it needs to be in the warehouse I'll I'll, I'll do I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll make sure that we pay Charlie. Okay. There we go. Six dollars though. I feel like that's a that's a steal. That's an absolute steal. No word on on when the grape's gonna be ready. It's gonna take a little while. That's that's okay. We still need grape concentrate. We got a baseball bat delivered. I have no idea where we're actually able to pick up another baseball bat. In fact, uh, weapons baseball bat. Yeah, I've exactly zero idea where we are gonna be able to pick up a baseball bat or crowbars for that matter can we rob the police station 
Can we rob the police station? Does the police station have ba baseball bats? I feel like the way that we do... I feel that the way that we do, uh, the way that we do it also... Car sales. I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna repair vehicles. Ask about a vehicle repair. Pay 80 bucks for a vehicle repair. Perfect condition. Excellent. A bit of support with a common friend. Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I mean, there's no, there's no opportunity to buy any, uh, to buy any cars, unfortunately. Charlie cannot do anything at this moment in time. Charlie cannot do anything at this moment in time. Unless I get a delivery route set up, but I'm pretty sure that you can't have a, a food-based delivery route. Assigned driver, yeah, missing vehicle. So basically, we need to we need to hire a person as well as a vehicle. And in order to get a vehicle, we need 500 bucks. However, uh, basically, what we would do if we wanted to if we wanted to actually continue in this vein is that we would just set up a driver, set up a delivery route, add a next step, kind of like I was going to do, but then stop doing because I realized that I need to use my main character uh, to move around. And you know, we can we can basically just chain everything together in such a way that. We, we head to Burns Moving and Storage Co. Uh, we pick up as many uh, as many uh, as many barrels as we can. We head back over to the cold storage area where we get the where we drop the barrels off. We can head back up here, pick up more barrels, drop them off over here, get the grape concentrate. Then we can you know set the driver to head back to the storage uh, facility, the safe house, etc. And then we can move the 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 brick uh, uh, the brick line around. So, you know, there's there's definitely there's definitely a lot of uh, there's definitely a lot of options uh, for now. I will say though, I'm not too displeased with the size of this empire. Uh, certainly there's probably a lot of areas that are like looking to that are looking to level up. Uh, those luncheons, you know, need to they need to they need to find some way to be uh, to be paid for. As you know what they say, folks, there is no such thing as a as a free lunch. Money is not yet ready? Are you for real? How on earth? Sure, let me let me pay 10 bucks. Sure, you know, start working on that next corner. How on earth is... How on earth is it the case that I still haven't managed to pay for that lunch? Emma Scarface? Oh, yes, please. Okay, I, I don't think that I've done anything to warrant the Scarface... Uh, the Scarface name, but I'm delighted that it's... Uh, delighted that it's happened. Alright, can we... Can we please just collect some cash? Please. I believe you have something for me? Yes! We collected $40 minus 18 in costs. Oh, that is brilliant news. Oh, you love to see that. Okay. It turns out that this whole crime thing has actually paid off. Uh, and just in the nick of time as well. Uh, because we're wrapping this one up here. Uh, ladies and gents, if you'd like to see more of this game, uh, then do indeed let me know in the comments. We have explored a tiny fraction of this immense city. I can't even, I can't even scroll out far enough to actually show the size of the city. It's massive. It's absolutely massive. And we've just explored a tiny little corner of the map. Uh, but anyway, folks, uh, on that note, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you ever so much for watching uh, this episode. I mean, it's been, it's been great, actually. It's, it's been, it's been really, really unique, really, really interesting. Um, yeah, City of Gangsters. I like it. I'm, I'm very, very enthusiastic to see what comes next, because this is, this is something good. This is something good here. This is something good. There is, uh, there's definitely a very, very, very strong future ahead for this game. Uh, so on that note, ladies and gents, we're going to wrap things up. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thanks for the, the Patreon support over on patreon.com forward slash open potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.